that's going mid. We still have to see which one out of Set and Galio might go supporter. Top granted, top lane Galio is pretty rare, so I doubt you're gonna see that. It should be yeah, Galio in his man cool. dive on the menu here in bottom lane. Pentanet looking for the first blood. Pabu will make his way down here. Decoy's gonna be drumming the aggro. Santos left for dead right now as first blood goes over. Now grabbing the first Drake of the game for themselves as well. Not as early as we saw RNG get the one in the previous game, but still seven and a half minutes. Good setup for yourself if you can continue to control these neutral areas, specifically that watch just yet. E going to be a victim. Oh no, a lot of kids oh. in a bad position. Praetis going in, but Praetis now in a bad spot on a Gnostic looking for the damage onto him, but the exhaust is there, and here's your ulti! Praetis picks him up, but now boss has come in. He's got one kill in return, it's a one for one so far, making a two for one in favor of Pentanet, who are seriously fighting for their lives here in this group, and I'm loving to see it. No man's now looking to see if there's an angle here to defend. Chaz going after him in the 1v1. We'll see if he goes any further for that one. Prowler's claw, no man's flashing over the wall to stay alive. Has empowered it's transfusion. It's happening, Cap. Pentanet in a must-win game are doing it on their picks. It's the Zed. It it's <laughs> well, No Man's is now going to find himself caught. CC's coming out, turns into a blood puddle, and now he's going to be a different kind of blood that puddle holds. over the ground. Nice kill for Pentanet. Unicorns of Love are the ones that set up for the play. It's Pentanet that finish it, and they're looking for a dive towards top lane, so Unicorns of Love have to peace out. Okay, Pabu now getting punished here a little bit. Uses the stopwatch to buy himself a moment longer. Chaz now backing up too. Pabu continues the retreat. Pentanet has four bodies up here in this top lane. Bio Panther will be left in the bottom side to defend against Boss in the split push. But the first turret of the game is about to drop, and it's about to mean a lot of money in Pentanet pockets. Incredibly awkward for Unicorns to love. 15 minutes in. Is that good enough? I'm an on-field reporter, and I'm saying it's looking pretty good. <laughs> okay, all right. So that was the difference towards the Kai'Sa and the Lee Sin. So the start of these fights are very clear and very easy to, to pump the brakes on that a little bit, go for the playmaking potential of that permanent stasis instead. How do we how do we feel about this, Raz? Uh, hit that one more time, because I was looking at your boy. Boss is ready. Everybody else is here and ready to go. No man's having no Hemo Plague. That's a pretty big team fight tool not available. You lose the damage amp, you lose the healing. Decoy goes in, finds two with a taunt. Nice face breaker on to four. Holy set. Lodic's going to be taken down first. Bio Panther grabbing the kill. Anagnostic dead next. It is three unicorns in the dirt. Endangered space. He's about to go extinct. Goodbye, unicorns of love. Goodbye, Santas. He's trying to just hide away, Pabu jumps in for the auto attack. Five for nothing, call it an ace for Pentanet. Bio Panther is the boss in this game. That was the sexiest set ultimate of a lifetime. Four man set up to engage options. And if we're losing, oh my God. Okay. Nice kick coming out from Ananasic, but there's your Zonias. Pabu's staying safe for now, but he's got to fall back. Boss is ready to join. TP coming in. Shut down over to No Man. Team fight tool. Pentanet spending that one. More control wards being placed down by the Unicorns of Love. Chaz will remain there in the pixel brush. Santos losing half HP. Santos is about to be out of the picture. Boss will be your next target here. Pabu with the first kill of the fight. You got Bio Panther buying some time here in a 1v3. Why on earth y'all trying to kill Set? That's not the guy that you're gonna have any sort of effective DPS against. Now you've got Pentanet with control over the Drake Pit, a 5v4, and the enemy team trying desperately to fight against this. There's your Vladimir ulti. There's your team fight coming in. Into the back line goes Lodic. Praetith grabbing the kill onto Boss. Now with a shutdown coming out, Chaz will fall. Both carries dead on the side of Pentanet. Is this how the Unicorns are able to fight back? Pabu is still here. Ananasic has no smite. Pabu also waiting for the cooldown on his. Another pool comes out from No Man's. Using that stasis, staying alive a little bit longer, but Bio Panther with a perfectly Get timed it. haymaker. Ananasic goes in. Ananasic goes back to the spawn platform. It is a team fight in an ocean and so Power Q to get back HP. So they needed to get that perfectly, and he did it. Bio Panther now going in. Stride Breaker, Face Breaker, good by Lodic. Keep everybody away. Ananasic, that's the guy that you really have to keep away from here. Bio Panther's going in, using the Stride Breaker. Chaz comes over the wall trying to deal with him. Ananasic jumping into the pit now. No man's going to be taken very low. Baron down to about 1,300. Boss grabbing the shutdown there, but Baron Nasher goes over to Pabu, and Pentanet just cleans everything. Everybody up. Oh man, I was concerned. 
Because once that light shuts off, Praedith was dealing with multiple people that it was just way too hard for Unicorn to clean up. And that coin toss that we saw from Baron, it's Pabu that nets it. Baron for Pentanet, and they're chasing them down. Chaz will not let Santas away from this one. And unfortunately for the Unicorns, since it took so long for Santas to die, your death timers are horribly desynced now. Santas will not be back for another 15 seconds after on a Nasik. They're still pushing towards two different lanes. Biopanther will take out the tier two in top. The rest of the team's gonna take out the tier two in mid. Holy moly, I mean, Pentier tier two turret here in the bottom lane will fall. Boss on a Nasik. Santas, they can't do anything about this. And you've got everywhere as you can. Praetith will step up and take pot shots at the turret whenever we can. Nice use of the W there to block the dredge line. But now Decoy's going in. They decided it's time to fight. Santos runs away. They've almost got the turret out of the picture. They'll take it down now. Decoy staying alive. On an outtake, the first one to die. Boss going to be killed off next. It's Reset City, baby. Double kill over to Chaz, and that will do it. Do some sit-ups underneath that turret, baby. Get them ab workouts in there. Pentanet stays alive and guarantees himself at worst a tiebreaker to move on to the next stage. That's some sick ad workout because you ain't done yet. There are still games to play and it feels